But the very first thing you want to do is you want to come to settings. Number one, settings. So we come into settings, and we want to view and update our profile. And on view and update our profile is where you go through the process of making sure all your information is correct, your profile that you want to set. So, for instance, like on Facebook, you might have facebook.com forward slash my name. Same thing. You want to add that content here. You want to add your business information. You know, what's your brokerage ad address? Um, a lot of you that are with, uh, you know, Real Estate 3 and Montague, and um, you, have, you guys have multiple offices throughout Charlottesville. Well, you want to put your office, okay? And you just go through each one of these, the contact information that you want to display on your listings, on your profile. Let's go down through this. Social networks. What the, this is a very important piece, and I may take a few moments to describe all this. This is whenever you go to – this is actually a very important piece. Let me just – right here. And I know what you're thinking to yourself. You're like, are you kidding me, Jamie? Are, are you kidding me? I have to have all those personas. I have to have all that set up to be successful in mind. Well, the answer is no, you don't. But the more you have set up and connected, the more successful you will be. And let me explain why. Everybody talks about Web 2.0. And this might confuse people, but I just have to discuss it because it's very important. Everybody discusses Web 2.0. But the reality of it is, is the Internet is already at Web 3.0, the semantic web. And what it is is it's all about curating content and you as a real estate business and that's what you are you're a real estate business you're your own entity within a brokerage but you're your own business you're an independent contractor so you have to set your business up the right way and then you have to let the internet know who you are and where you're at and then when you publish content the internet knows that any content that goes on to all of these sites is your content about real estate and that they're going to rank that content. So if you only curate your content to Facebook, you only have one newspaper that you're going to. If you post your content to Facebook and Twitter, now you're posting your content to two new newspapers, if that makes sense in the old way of doing media. Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, now you're posting your content to three newspapers. So if I were to ask you, hey, in your local market, if I could put you on every single magazine, every single real estate magazine, every single park bench, every single pharmacy bag, every single coffee mug, every single TV station, every single media outlet in your market, and you could afford it, would that be worth it to you? The answer is always yes, of course. The more exposure you get, the better off you're going to be. And that's what we're teaching here, where you're able to connect all these profiles and push your content to those profiles and have the Internet actually reward you for doing that. So this setup process is very, very important. Then, of course, adding your pictures that you want to display out there um, on your listings and all that good stuff. And that's it. Once you go through that process, you're set. Now, here's where the, the, um, the genius of radio starts coming in. Your whole persona is set up on Revio. Now what we want to do is we want to connect to our social networks out there. So let's go back to the dashboard, and um, I click on the Revio logo. It takes me back to my dashboard. Now we come back to settings once again, and you'll see Video Social Connect. We click on Video Social Connect, and here is where you go through the process of connecting all your accounts. So for instance, this button here, it would say connect to YouTube. See, mine's already connected. You would click the button, you would log into your YouTube channel, and you would connect it. Same with Daily Motion. You would add your email and password. Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. You just click on connect, click on connect, click on connect. It asks you to log in and approve the connection. Remember all that wrong stuff I was showing you and how everybody's ranking? Right here's why. Connect your Tumblr, connect your blogger, connect your WordPress. Okay? Once you have all of this stuff connected, you save your information. Now you're done. 
now you can use Revio to its fullest potential, and you just spend an hour of your time connecting everything. Now, if you need help, keep coming to these trainings. If you're in a local market that we have representation, uh, such as Charlottesville, you, you have David Griffin up there. He works Charlottesville and, and uh, Richmond and, of course, all over the place. But um, he's a, he knows – he knows this system. He knows how to help you get set up. Use him. Use him. Now, of course, we're going to ask you if you're going to do that. We want you to upgrade your, your membership from a free account to a paid account just so it's, it's beneficial for him. He, you know, he's got to feed himself, too. So, um, uh, you know, it's, it's good to go ahead and upgrade your membership. And you get a lot of benefits from the Revio platform. And I'm not here to sell you anything today. I'm here to teach you. But it is beneficial if you're going to use David and his skill set, you know, have him show you how to upgrade your membership. So now you're connected. Now what do I do? Well, in select markets, uh, such as Charlottesville, you have something that nobody else in the United States of America that's a real estate agent has access to. And most agents just don't comprehend what they have at their fingertips. But I'm going to show you this real quick. Because if this is all you've done, if this is all you do on Revio, you've just, you've just changed your business model. You absolutely can dominate your local market if you follow what I'm about ready to, to do. So I'm going to and that agent is on the, in here. I'm sorry, go ahead. And that agent is on the phone, on the call today. <laughs> Who, who's that? What are you talking about? Candace Vanderlinda. <laughs> Hello. Uh, hey, Candace, how are you? Actually, I'm going to use Candace then, okay? How's the baby? Oh, he's good. Thank you. <laughs> is 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 Bert in love with the baby? Absolutely. He is a great big brother. <laughs> That's great. So, uh, actually, this is great. The Candace, I'm going to use Candace's account then. So, watch this. I'm going to pretend I'm Candace on, this, on the site here. Um, and I'm going to switch over. So right now you'll see up in my top right corner that uh, I'm actually Candace. And, and you guys can't do this. I'm an admin of the system, so I can – I'm able to help all the agents out. If they need any help, I can log into them and, and have access to whatever they need. So I'm going to come over here to um, Candace and actually uh, – do we not have her – do we not have her paperwork? I'm all mm. – Sure, she signed it a long time ago. Okay, give me one second here real quick. Give me one second. And I'll show you how simple it is, guys. Once you sign your paperwork... It, it was actually already in there. So what is going on here? Give me one second. Yeah, I think she's she's seen that button. You, Which button is it? It's the MLS button. Uh huh. Yeah, she's used it. That's why I was saying. Yep. Okay. Give me one second here. Sorry for the snafu. Happens with technology. <laughs> All good. Yeah, okay, hold on here. Uh, let me let me bring up Tracy real quick. Okay, for some odd reason, my MLS button is not showing up. Okay, so uh, I'm not going to be able to show you today. Um, so it's a very important piece of the puzzle. And for whatever reason, something we updated last night has made it not show up today. But actually, let me just go like this from the outside when I'm not logged in. Okay, so it's showing up on the outside. Yeah, we must something some change we did last night. So I want you to see this. See this button here, MLS listings. Yes. This is extremely powerful, everybody. It, it just changes the game for you. Once again, there's no other agents across the country that have this flexibility. Okay. First off, first and foremost, every single listing from the Charlottesville Area Association of Realtors 
Harrisonburg, Augusta County, and if you're a part of Tennessee, Virginia Regional MLS, it's, it, you have access to all of those listings right inside here. Then, better yet, when you're logged in and me and my programmer don't mess things up on you, you're able to click a button right here and push this out to your social networks. Any listing on your MLS, like for instance, this one right here, 766 Glebe School Road. I'm going to click on that one, and I want you to see something here. This is not Tracy Mouse listing, guys. It's not. But Tracy Mouse is able to market this listing like it's hers. Any listing in the MLS. And you know why we're allowed to do that? Because your MLS says as long as we give this listing this courtesy of Remax Advantage on Main Street, we're fine. Every single website on the planet, Zillow, Trulia, Realtor.com, your personal websites, all of it, this is all you have to do to give credit back to the person that actually has the listing. So on Revio, what we've done is we said, listen, Zillow and Truly and Realtor.com, they're taking the credit and selling advertising to other agents to display. What we say is the only two people that deserve credit for this listing is the person that actually got the listing and the person that's actually effectively marketing that listing. And that's it. We won't put any other agents on these listings. We're not going to sell advertising on any of these other listings. It's just going to be, if you're smart enough and savvy enough to realize that you have access to, if you want to say to yourself, I want to market all the homes in Foxcroft that are, that are being listed right now, or Glenmore, or you name the neighborhood. You want to become that expert in that neighborhood. You're able to come into the local MLS on your uh, site here, put in the MLS number, street number, the address, whatever, do a search, and all those listings in that neighborhood will show up. And now you can start marketing that out there like they're your listings, like you own Foxcroft, like you own Glenmore. You're that agent in that market, and you're following your MLS rules, but Revio is the only platform that gives you that ability to market those listings socially with one click of a button. Now, you can't do it today because me and my programmer messed something up, but <laughs> we'll get that fixed today because it's supposed to be right here on your social dashboard. It's actually supposed to be right here, guys, and I apologize that it's not for this uh, training. Um, we're doing a lot of upgrades to the platform, and when we do, we'll make a change, and we'll realize, ooh, that, we, that disappeared or whatever. That's what happened here. So let's just stop for a second. If that's all you had access to, to be able to – we're all going to radio and rank or just market your MLS listings socially. That in and of itself makes radio powerful, but it's so much more than that. So right now you're getting listings and you have yourself doing photos or video. You have a team that does photos and video, or you have just a videographer that goes out there and does videos. Well, on the Revio platform, Revio is made to be an open environment, an open world for all to use. So I don't care if you like Circle Picks, World Biz 360, uh, uh, ABC Photography, 123 Video Team, John Hancock Video, uh, the there's a bunch of other, Chris and Abby and, and um, Runyon. What's the guys, what's the other guys, the media specialist guy's name? Um, Bill Starr, Matterport. Um. Yeah, 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 all those guys, okay? doesn't matter. On Revio, all of those individuals, you're able to associate them to your account, okay? So if you're using Adam... Or Bill, Bill Store. Here's where we use Bill. If you're using Bill, actually Tracy, it looks like Tracy is using Bill. This media specialist has been associated. You associate whatever video or photo team you want to your account on Revio. Now they're able to go out there, take the photos and video, and they're able to upload it to Revio for you. And, of course, Revio automatically creates a virtual tour. Automatically. So right away, just by having your team 
do what they're already doing and just upload that content to Revio, boom, you have a virtual tour ready to be marketed socially from your dashboard. Yet it gets so much better than that. I'm going to get into why it's better in a second, but I want you to understand how important this piece is. It doesn't matter who you use. You don't have to use Vision Tech or your real estate concierge or uh, David Griffin video or you don't have to use people that are, that are associated to Revio. It's like we love Revio. It's the greatest thing in the world. No store could say, I hate Revio. I hate it. I despise it. But you say to him, Bill, that's where I need you to upload the photos. Doesn't, that's okay. We're okay with that. Um, once he does that, the ability you have now with those photos or video is unprecedented. You don't have it any other way. Because right now, Bill, if he wasn't using Revio, he's got to use Dropbox to send it to you. He's got to use Transfer Big Files to send it to you. He's got to send it to you via Google Docs, or he's got to send it to you in a zip file or whatever. And you have to download that content and put it on your desktop, and hopefully you know how to organize your desktop to where you can find that stuff again. Then you have to say, well, if I want to do something with that photo, what can I do with that photo? What can I do with that video? We've simplified that whole process on Revio. So let me show you. Let me give you an example. So I'm Tracy right now, and let's just say uh, Bill Sore just uploaded whatever photo, or whatever listing. I can come in here. And I'm going to go to social marketing. And I want to socially market photos. I'm going to click on my photos, and it's going to show me my listings. Okay? So here's 4525 Woods Edge Road. All right. Let me click on that. This is so awesome, guys. At any time, I'm able to market any one of these photos socially. Any time. I don't have to search for them on my desktop. I don't have to try to find the folder or anything like that. All I need to do right here is see this share photo. I click share this photo. It's automatically going to share this photo socially to my Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and also Revio. But then let's just say uh, next week I want to push out this, this, this awesome counter, this wood counter thing. So I can click on share photo. And I push out the counter now. Everything's accessible right here. Extremely powerful. But it gets so much better. Watch this, guys. Watch this. Go ahead and mark. We have what's called. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm going to do this start marketing. Go ahead and mark it. So, <laughs> you, have, yeah. you have my permission. I love it. Okay, so here, here it is. We also have what's called start marketing. So you, I'm going to show you how I can simplify your life right here. So right now, I just showed you that if you use Revio, have your media specialist upload the photos, you have access to all that content right here. Okay? You can download it, share it, whatever. But what if I can show you how you can have a 60-day or 90-day marketing game plan set up right from within here? So here we go. I'm going to click on Start Marketing. Guys, this is so huge. So here's Facebook. I'm going to market it to Facebook. And I'm going to schedule this, pro this photo to go out today at 10, the 21st, the 25th, the 30th, the 5th, the 16th, and the 26th. I'm going to click Add Schedule. Guys, six times. I can, I can do this for the next 90 days on Facebook. Then I'm going to do Twitter. Same thing. I'm going to do it on opposite days. I'm going to do it on the 18th, the 20th, the 25th, the 29th, the 30th. Add schedule. You see my point here. LinkedIn. You create a marketing plan for every one of your listings, and you schedule it out for the next 60 days. Add schedule. And there's techniques and stuff we'll teach you that you can change the times and all that stuff. Right now, I'm just doing it for the sake of simplicity. Then you can also blog about this as well to your blogger, Tumblr, all of that. Then once you're set, you just click submit, and now your listing is being marketed online for the next 60 days, 90 days, whatever you have scheduled. And you can wipe your hands away from it, and now you move on to 
do more cold calls, do more networking events. You know your listings are being marketed effectively online. Now, of course, if you do uh, offline marketing, you do postcards, you do whatever, weekly things, whatever, yeah, that's, you still need to do that stuff. But you see online, you can schedule everything right within the Revio platform for it automatically to happen for you. Now, here's what happens. Watch this. You're going to be blown away. So the homeowner calls you up. It says, Brad, Brad, I need you to send me those photos um, as quick as you can. And you're like, oh, oh where, where are they? Oh, my God, I think they're on my desktop. No, they're on my, they're on my phone. No, uh, they might be on the, the laptop, but I'm not sure where they're at. Here's what you do. You just log into your Revio. You go to Revio Drive. You click on Share Files. And... You go and you say, I'm gonna um I'm gonna add photos that are already in my system. So I'm gonna click on share these listing photos. <laughs> Guys, this is sick. This is so sick. So I'm gonna homeowner at gmail dot com, whatever their email address is. Here are your photos, Larry and Sue. And then you write a little message. I love you guys. House is going to sell next week. And you click send. Boom. Larry and Sue just got all of the photos that your media specialist went out, took, and uploaded to the radio profile. You cannot do that anywhere else on the planet. You just can't. It's just not available. The, what we're doing, once again, I started the call with, Revio is a place to store and share all of your media content, not just your listing content, but all of your media content. So, for instance, let's just let's just start over here. Uh, what if you have um, I'm going to share files. What if you have a document that needs to be sent? Or what if you have uh, whatever it might be? It doesn't even matter. You can upload files from your desktop just like you can anything. You can add files from, from your drive. You can add videos, add photos. It's all accessible right from within Revio. You're able to send anything you need to to anybody. And if anybody sends stuff to you, you can actually save it to your drive as well. So very, very powerful stuff right here. Before I move on, um, I've gone over quite a bit just in that last 15 minutes here. Um, does anybody have any questions? Jumping from social marketing to radio drive sometimes messes with people's brains. So I just want to make sure that everybody that's on here, if you have any questions up to this point, um, go ahead and ask them real quick. I, I have a question. Um, about the mm-hmm. last part with uploading the photos, everything you just did a second ago, it says upload from drive. Is that from the Revio drive? Yeah, so let's go back here. Let's go to share files, and it says add files from Drive. Yep. This one? Yeah. So if you click on that, you can – so let's just say you have files that are already stored. You're already storing content. So let's just say um, new hospital entrance. So Tracy has this, this hospital entrance that she already has a photo of. She can actually click this, and it will drop it in to be sent out. So anything that she has in the Drive already, she can reset it. Okay. Can you show the button for uh, sending to the photo vault for sh- for social engagement? Wait, uh, adding that again. Is that a, are you in a different section now? No, if we go back to uh, add files from Drive, shouldn't we see the uh, an icon that says share to vault? Oh, oh, oh. oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're talking about here we go. So let's go to add photos. Okay, so one of the things that David's bringing up here is you have property photos. Okay. That's fine. That's all your properties. But you have more than that. You have profile photos, photos of yourself. You have miscellaneous photos that you might upload to the platform. Uh, Tracy does uh, some uh, volunteer work type stuff, fundraising type stuff. She can share all of this content, all of these photos. Um, Oh, shoot. Sorry, guys. Sorry. I, I hit my mouse. So any miscellaneous photos that you have uploaded to Revio, remember, it's not just your listings. It's all your media content. So here's your photo vault. You are able to utilize your phone 
and upload photos and videos to Revio, and you're able to utilize and share that content. So here's this bruise and bruise. Remember I showed you that blog post that Tracy did, and it's ranking? Here's that photo. She's able to click this photo. So let's just say bruise and bruise contact and say, hey, Tracy, can you send me that photo real quick? She clicks on, this is in the photo vault, she clicks on share photo, say she drops in their email, writes the subject, boom, click send. They just got the email with that photo. She just simplified her life. So it's, once again, it's all your media content. Thank you, David, for pointing that out. It's not just listing content. It's your whole media life, your whole Internet dynamic that you have going on. You can store that inside of Revio and be able to socially engage that content and or share that content to other people that you need to share it with. So can you show that? If you go to her Facebook or her wall, we could grab that picture for booze, uh, bruise and booze. Booze, booze, and bruise. It's available because it's in the vault. Is that right? Uh, well, the answer is probably yes, but I didn't follow your question. So let's say she wants to she wants to post that on Facebook now. How does she have access to it? She wants to share on the wall. Many different ways. Sure. So there's many different ways. But for instance, here I'm on the news feed. Um. And because we're not on the dashboard right now, I might confuse people. But in this raw form, you have access to your photos and video right from the news feed. Okay? So watch this. So David wants me to do a photo, that photo. So I can, uh, I can either upload a new photo or I can share the photos that are already in my system. So I'm going to go to Photo Vault, search. There it is. Bruise and Bruise. Share photo. What's happening? Bruise and bruise. And I click on share on my wall. It's automatically going to share it on my regular wall, and then it's going to automatically send it to my Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn as well. I'm not going to do it right now, David, just because I, I don't just. No, well, it's, I don't want to push it out to all her networks. It's over, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, okay, great. Thank you have access to doing that. Right from within, right from within Revio, you have access to all of this content to socially engage it in many different ways. Is what David's showing you from your Revio, from the video vault, from your news feed, from uh, from Start Marketing. You have many different avenues to be able to start for, to market this listing uh, or any of your media content. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, sure. So, um, the the one last thing I want to show you today. Um, we're coming up on just about an hour. Um, is posting blogs. I started this by showing you blog posts and how how effective they are. And, and because Candace is here now, I want to show it once more. I'm gonna I'm just gonna do a Google search. And I'm gonna make sure I'm, I'm, I'm private. This is my normal searching. This is me private. I want you to see. There's Candace's post right there, ranked. But better yet, it's on her Google Plus and on her website. Okay? It's powerful. Automatically, you get one post, and it's in many different places. But now, let me let me switch sides. Actually, uh, this is me. I don't want to do this. No, I'm Tracy. Okay. I'm going to stick with Tracy right now. So Tracy has created blogs. I'm going to click on share blogs. And you'll see, here's that booze and Bruise tab. She created that on Revio. Okay? She can click on share on my wall, and it'll automatically share it to her Revio, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, automatically. There's many, many ways you can market on Revio. But better yet, look at this, Tumblr, Blogger, WordPress, all she has to do, David, do you mind if I push it to Tumblr just for the sake of doing it? No, go, yeah. Okay. All she has to do now is he clicks post to Tumblr. Are you sure you want to post it? Yes. Boom, you'll see that it, it goes black once you've posted it out. She just posted this blog post to Tumblr. Let's post it to Blogger for her. <laughs> that post now is on her Blogger. 
but you know it's a WordPress as well. I'm not going to do it, but you get my point. WordPress is done. That would have been blue. Oh, sorry, Donald. Yeah, you're right. That's, uh, that's, it would have been blue. Yep. So she created a blog post on Revio. It's already ranking. I showed you it's ranking. Let's go see it. To get more bang for her buck, she can actually post it to Tumblr and Blogger as, and, and WordPress to get more bang for her buck for that blog post. Once again, let's go back to what I started with when we first got going. Connecting your personas, let me go back to Jamie, this is so important. All of these icons down here, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Google+, YouTube, Pinterest, Tumblr, Delicious, all of it, all of this, WordPress, Blogger, all of these. I'm Tracy is connected, and she's pushing that content out to all her social networks, all her different feeds, the Internet, Google, Bing, Yahoo, whatever search portal. They're all over time saying, Tracy, Candace, Trish and Bob Troggett, Brad, whoever's using the platform, as we're teaching here, are feeding the Internet the content that they want in the industry, and those search portals recognize that and over time will rank you above all your co competitors because you're doing what the Internet wants. You're providing fresh content about an industry-specific content. Do that long-term. Continue to do that. For the remainder of your career, you will dominate the Internet in your area. But I want to make something abundantly clear. Make sure you're focused on your area. It's important. Let me show you what some people are doing. And, and, and I'm, I'm trying to educate everybody, but there's a lot of people to deal with here. Um, you know, we have over, we have almost 2,000 agents on the platform now. I mean, it's, it's, it's insane. It's wonderful, but it's a lot of agents. Um, and that's why we're starting to do these calls. We're going to start doing all these calls. So, for instance, Charlotte. Charlotte Cherie, we love her. She's amazing. She's been with us a long time. She's over in Richmond, and she's killing it. She's doing wonderful with this platform, and now she's really increasing it even more. But one of the we just got them really starting to use the blog and post it out to the other ones that, that I showed you. Let's talk about flood issues. What you want to do is you want to say, let's talk about flood issues in Chesterfield County. Let's talk about flood issues in Richmond. Let's talk about flood issues in Charlottesville, Virginia. Okay? And then whenever you're doing your blog post, you want to kind of talk about that in your blog post. Um, you know, hey, if you're really worried about Flood and flooding in the Chesterfield County area. You know, here are some tips and tricks and things that we've learned over time. And then you don't want to oversaturate, overkill with that information, but you want to let the internet know because when people are searching for a, a flood issues or anything like that, they do any sort of searching. That's a global search. Okay, you are more than likely not going to write for that until you use this platform and have socially engaged content for a duration, a long period of time, until the Internet realizes, oh, you are an industry expert pushing good content out there. But if you do, let's talk about flood issues in Richmond, Virginia, people in the Richmond market, because most searches are geo-targeted, Google will show your content because it's focused to the Richmond market. That, I hope that makes sense to people. Really, really is significant. Let's talk about flood issues it is global. Let's talk about flood issues in Richmond, Virginia. It's local. And Google is more than likely going to show Charlotte's blog post because she's focused on flood issues in Richmond than she would if she left Richmond off here. Does that make sense to everybody? Very, very important. Okay. Yep, yep. So we're right at one hour. David, I want to kind of turn it over to you. Um, it's a lot of information, and that's only a small piece of what Radio can do for you. But uh, I don't want to overwhelm it and, you know, go on for two hours and just have everybody's brains fried. But I just want to turn it back over to you and first thank you for putting the call together. Um, I want to do this more and more for uh, our existing clients and people that want to use the platform. But I want to turn it over to you and have any questions you want or any of the agents that are on board, if they have any questions, I'm, I'm here to – I just I want to respect every time and just turn it back over to you and then we'll take it down. No, yeah, great. Um I look forward to more of these these calls. It's exciting stuff, lots to cover, and uh, if we get this information out, more and more people will be using this platform. Mm -hmm. No question. And the other thing I want to mention that's very, very vital. 
um, I have a team of people that work with me to help me, and we're on the inside. This platform is your platform. I developed this based off of the feedback I get from, from you guys. I mean, a lot of the new enhancements come directly from people, uh, in a nice way, complaining. Man, if it could do this, or, oh, man, my life is miserable with doing this, or, uh, for instance, Candace, she's using her flyers, and uh, the flyers need to be tweaked a little bit. They need to be changed. They need to have QR codes automatically. And I hear that. And when I hear that, I, we take that to the drawing board, and I take it to my lead guy, Shadar, and I say, Shadar, okay, this is what they're saying. How do we make this happen? And we, if it makes sense, we put it on the docket, our programming docket, um, to go ahead and make those enhancements for you guys. This is your site. We want to simplify your business and Whatever you need to help simplify your business, you get that information to us however you want to. And one of the best ways um, to get me in for, to, to, to send information is, of course, if you're working with David, get it to David. If you're working with Gene, John, Nicola, um, Connie, or Linda, or whoever you might be working with out there that is uh, a specialist on the revenue platform, get that information to them or – you know, come to, come to me. Let me let me know. Go to support. Let me um, give me one second here. I'm gonna show you here. Um, let me go back to Tracy. At any time, I want you guys to come to support if you need anything. Right here on your dashboard, you have a support button. Just click on that and put in your name, email address tech support, your subject, your phone number, and the message you have. Hey, Jamie, or hey, programming team, or whatever. Hey, you know, if you could do this type of enhancement, that would be great. Let us know your feedback. Let me know how I can simplify your daily business activities with online stuff. That's, that's what we're here for. That's what Revio is made to do. It's made to bring all the mess that's out there, the, 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 all the tools and apps and accessories and doohickeys, it's all in one spot. <laughs> let's just, let's just if, if you understand that, let us teach you how to use this. And listen, some of you are more technically savvy than, than others. Others are, are, you know, have a tough time turning on the computer. That's fine. Let us help you. Let us show you step one. Let's get you on the site and your profile set up. Okay, well, I don't have any listings right now. That's fine. Let us show you how to sign the paperwork and start marketing the MLS listings. Well, what do I do from then? I don't really know how to publish. I don't, I don't know how to write, Jamie. I don't know how to write articles. Okay, let's go get content that's already out there. We repurpose that content, give credit to the people that wrote that content, linking back to their initial article, and let's show you, show you how to push that out as your blog. Let us help you. Whatever stage of the Internet and technology you're at, it doesn't matter. Revio can help you from day one, I just turned on my computer, to I'm tech savvy. I know what I'm doing. We can help you. So good. All right, David. Well, we're about five minutes after, um, and I know we started about five minutes late, too, so we're right at an hour. Let's go ahead and cut it. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today. Um, we are going to be putting up a schedule and doing these ongoing as I mentioned, we started bringing on full brokerages. Uh, we just signed on um, Keller Williams in Limerick. Uh, 100 and, they have 170 agents. 120 of them are working. 120 agents are coming onto the Revio platform as of tomorrow. Uh, as of last week, we cut the deal, but as of tomorrow. So we're going to start training that ongoing, ongoing, ongoing. And we want you guys to come on board and tell your friends about it. Tell them about Revio. Get them on these calls and let us show them how they can increase their business and exposure online. So thank you guys very much, and I appreciate your time. All right. Thank you. Thank you.